the history of Armenians. Uh, the name Armenian comes from two separate other names, Albanian and Roman. When the fifth, fifth uh, Roman legion settled in the Illyric country around the fifth century, this Roman legion lately was transformed into a nation. The Armenians have the other names, Vlach, Illyric Romans, and Sintar. The structure of the name Armenian is very complex, so when the 5th Roman legion settled in the Illyric country, their descendants lived mostly in the area around Apollonia, Olona, Epir, Mountains and Macedonia. So, in the coming years, these Romans got mixed with the local population of Albanians. So, when a Roman woman married an Albanian man, the child would then got called a Roman or Arman. Also, the name Vlach is has its roots connected to the Albanian tree family. It comes from the Albanian world Vla, meaning brother or a cousin. That's why the Armenians were also called Vlas by the other peoples living around Illyria. Also, if you look in the costumes of the Armenians, they look the same as the South Albanian costumes. Men used to take with them all the time big knives, uh, later pistols, also smoke pipes and musical instruments. The women wore a dress that covered their body from head to the ankle. The Aramanian history spans a lifetime left them more timeline from the fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century to today, spanning 1,600 years old history, tradition, religion, culture, and etc. The Aramanians are descendants of the Albano-Roman family or Albano-Roman lineage and they belong to the Illyro Daco Thraco family. The Aromanian people follow many religions depending in which area they lived. For example, Aromanians that live in Chamaria, in the southern part of Albania, that was populated by Muslim Albanians, Aromanians that lived in, in there were mostly Bektashi and Sunni Muslims or Shia Muslims. A small percentage of them were uh, Orthodox Christians. The Armenians that lived in central Macedonia or in Kosovo Vilayet and Manasi Vilayet were Christians, most of them Orthodox Christians, only very few families were Catholics and all of them migrated to northern Albania and Kosovo. The question is that that always bothered me about Armenian history was did the Armenians ever wanted to have their own state or kingdom or wanted to be independent? Well, yes and no. When the Suliots, or the South Albanian people, rebelled against the Ottoman oppression in 1820, a Romanian joined, the, joined to the Albanian side together with Greeks. Some of our Romanians also fought for Ali Pasha, the independent South Albanian lord of Yanina, Thessaly and Macedonia, and Olona. Well, in South Albanian War of Independence, Armenians seek help from the Muslim champs, the Suliots and the Himariots. The Suliots and Himariots were the elites of the region. The Albanians defended the Armenian villages and uh, places from the Turkish army. Uh, after the Suliots and Himariots won the war and completed the task, the Great Port was bound to accept the champ demands. Autonomy over the village of Yanina. Uh, Ceranic and Thessaly, low taxes, uh, Albanians don't need to serve 70 years in the military, every governor must be Albanian, the nation of Greece must be free, and the state's capital must be Athens. Ali Pasha had a major role in this war, he was also one of the leaders of the war, he also was one of the, one of the Albanian lords that called first the Albanian people for fight to, for independence. Other leaders that fought in this 115 years old war were Marko Bocari, Cecistopoli, Bayatopoli, Mihail Gameno, Pieter Guri, etc. The Armenian symbols are very similar to the Albanian symbols. Their flag is depicted by most of the times as a double headed eagle with a white background. But the most common and original one is the one headed eagle. Armenians are also known as Dinzar, that derives from the name of the 5th the fifth, uh, Roman Legion, also Vlah, meaning brother, in Albanian, Choban, meaning shepherd, 
uh, because the most common job of a typical Armenian peasant was being a shepherd. Today, Armenians live a different life, a westernized life. Also, the number got shrinked. Most of them migrated to the West, but their traditions still live on together with their culture.